Auto executives around the globe are pumping the brakes when it comes to expectations for EV adoption. In a recent survey conducted by consulting and accounting firm KPMG, the median expectation for EV sales in the U.S. by 2030 fell from 65 last year to 35 percent in this year's poll. That would fall well short of President Biden's goal of half of all new vehicle sales in 2030 to be fully electric. Proud to remain here with more on this. Wow, <laughs> what has caused that number in your estimation to fall so dramatically? You know, it's a big part of it, I think, is their concern about pricing in terms of component prices and also um, things like EV adoption rates. They, they think that they're not going to be as strong as they as they believe. Uh, you know, higher rates, too, right, are affecting the kind of adoption of gas prices coming yeah, down. I exactly. Would, think, would factor in there as well. Yeah. So you have these EVs that are already kind of expensive hard to get the critical materials you need for the batteries and things like that. And in places like India, Brazil, and even Japan, they're not seeing the EV adoption kind of happen fat as soon as they think it would be uh, because of various reasons. Japan is interesting because the CEO of Toyota is kind of pumping the brakes also on, you know, talking about there's a silent majority out there of auto execs who don't think this is going to happen because of, you know, maybe the governments are too aggressive with their, with their kind of um, uh, deadlines for getting this hap making this happen. So that's why there's some sort of uh, uh, ambivalence toward that, that transformation right now with, with these auto execs. Yeah, there certainly is a lot of uncertainty. And then also what I found interesting in this survey, Pros, was the companies that the auto executives think are going to lead the EV market, the battery EV market in 2030. Tesla a year ago was by far the leader in this space. And certainly a number of the competitors, we have it up on the screen, really closing the gap. And it looks like Tesla's grip here could, in fact, be slipping a bit. Yeah, for sure. I mean, 233 execs thought, he, uh, sorry, 419 thought Tesla would be number one. And then now it's down to 223 uh, by that 2020, um, by 2030. One other thing that that's not on there is Apple actually was number four yeah. on that list. And then they, they went up from number nine in 2021. So it's interesting to see Apple kind of coming in out of the, out of the blue. We don't have a car yet. They don't right? have a car. Yeah. Correct? So, yeah. you know, what's that going to be like? Get a borrow a platform from somebody, put their software in there. But the Apple car is very concerning to a lot of these execs.